Are you happy, children of God? Am I ready having a, a translator today? <laughs> okay. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Like truly, like I cannot translate. Get I give you one more. I was kept thinking there's no translator today. Hey, uh, we are thankful, children of God. Without any further waste of time, I'd like to ask my brother. Only believe, only believe all things are possible. Amen. Amen. Let's close our eyes in prayer. Precious Father, 
For he said, I have heard thee in time, accepted, and in the day of salvation. Have I secured thee? Behold, now is the, is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Amen. Give me no offense in any. Give me no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of God, in much patience, in affliction, in necessities, in distress, in stripes, in imprisonment, in turmoils, in labor, and in watching, in fasting. Sorry. Sorry, my dear friend. Chapter three. Do we begin again to uh, commend ourselves, or need we, as some others, apostles of, of commendation to you, of letters of commendation from you? You are apostles written in our hearts, known and read of all men. For as much as you are manifestly declared to be the apostle of Christ, ministered by us, written not in ink, but in the spirit of the living God, not in the uh, tables of stone, but in the fleshly, Tables of hearts. And such trust we have through Christ to God. What? Not that we are sufficient ourselves, ourselves to think anything of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. Amen. Amen. Who also hath made us able ministers in the New Testament, not of uh, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit uh, giveth life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so our title today. today We'll be speaking. We'll be speaking on. Uh, we'll be speaking on. Uh, perfect strength by perfect weakness. Uh, Hallelujah. Amen. Then our 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 subtitle. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna say our 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 sufficiency is of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word day. Not that we, we, we are sufficient of ourselves to think of anything as ourselves, but our sufficiency of God. The word sufficiency, the word sufficiency there, uh, the word sufficiency, it was translated from a Greek word he cannot. He cannot. It means ability. So, uh, so already, my brother already interpreted it. So, I'm, 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 what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say, our ability is of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So, we'll be speaking on our perfect, uh, we, perfect strength by perfect witness. Then we say our sufficiency or our ability or our hypnotic is of God. Hallelujah. The message, the message is from the spoken word, perfect strength by perfect witness. Hallelujah. So uh, we, we find that when we have weakness, we have strength. When we give up, that's, that's the time God becomes real to us. That, that's where God shows himself. Hallelujah. So God will allow certain things to reveal what is inside of us. Hallelujah. God can let sickness strike you. God can let you lose your job. You can lose your money, your car, every accident. God can let that. Hallelujah. So through our weaknesses, strength is revealed. Our strength does not come from the east or west. Our strength does not come from north or south. Our strength comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. David, as a young man, he destroyed a giant. Hallelujah. Samson, Samson was not afraid of David. Sorry, Solomon, 
Solomon was not afraid of David. Ubasa chapter feed. Hallelujah. Amen. But Solomon, Solomon was afraid of Goliath. Uh, Hallelujah. But this young man, David, was able to destroy the giant Goliath. Hallelujah. So it was not David. When David took that stone or, 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 or released that slingshot, it was not David. When David took that and uh, threw that slingshot, Hallelujah. Amen. God was behind that stone. God guided that stone like a messiah. Hallelujah. So we see that it was it was God through David. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Solomon. Solomon. Solomon at the end of his journey. Solomon He killed more Philistines. Hallelujah. Amen. When he was blind there, he was able to put his hands on the pillars. Hallelujah. Amen. And destroyed many people. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, one other time. Samson, Samson, he, he, his strength, he was able to kill thousand Philistines with a jawbone of, of an ass. Amen. So you can see that if it was, it was really a jawbone. And God was not was not part of it. That, that open was gonna break. Remember that open was, was not being there. Amen. It was gonna, it was not even gonna kill one person. But with a job he was able to kill thousand Philistines. So it was not really the strength of Samson. But it was God's strength in Samson. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The, 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 the Hebrew boys, they went into the fire. But the fire did not burn them. Hallelujah. Amen. God took the heat out of the fire. He let them walk there freely. So. God allowed Daniel to, to, to go into the to be thrown into the den of life. To be thrown. To be thrown into the den of life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To be thrown into the den of life. Hallelujah. Amen. So God took the appetite out of the uh, Okay, he was thrown into the den of hungry lions. Hallelujah. Amen. God took the appetite out of the lions. So you can see that it was not really uh, about Daniel. But it was God. Hallelujah. Amen. So today we will see that what about us? So today we will return one. When we surrender ourselves, that very, really, really, what will happen? So, okay, first point. Uh, then we will be going down. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I'm reading from the spoken word now. Amen. So, the prophet said, we try to make our witness excuses. So, I'm reading from paragraph uh, 43. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's uh, that's what come that's what we come to church for. Is to find out where our fault is. That we might better ourselves. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't come to church to see one another. Or to, to, to say, did you bring my chapel away? Hallelujah. Amen. We come, we, 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 we came to church to find where our fault is. Hallelujah. Amen. 
When the teacher gives you homework, when you come to class tomorrow, you come to, you come, maybe you can start with corrections. Hallelujah. Amen. So we come to church to do corrections. Hallelujah. Amen. To see where we can better ourselves. So uh, the prophet said, if we come to church for any other objective, this, I'm afraid we won't get too much of coming to church. We must come to church to find our weaknesses. To find our bad places. So, so to see how little we are, so that we can put our church in somebody so strong. Hallelujah. Amen. So you see, we come to church to find out our weaknesses. So if the message is so powerful, and you get offended, so we don't, you, we, we don't know why you came to church. Because you came here for corrections. So the message is here to correct you. So if you get if the teacher says this one is not correct, put a cross there. This one, the correct one is this one. Someone, someone like to say. Let's say perhaps it was a mess, a mess, a and a homework. homework. Then you say, I want plus one. We are one plus one. Then you wrote 11. Then the teacher said, No, it's two. Put it on the then you get angry. That's what happens if you come to church and the God is speaking and you get offended. You don't want to be corrected. You want to be corrected. Hallelujah. Amen. You become like Cain. God came down and preached directly to Cain. Cain was no prophet preached to Cain. Our no prophet are reaching Cain. Pastor, no deacon, no brother. Our no muruti, our no man is sure reaching Cain. God preached to Cain. But Cain was very stubborn. He didn't even listen. As As it Hallelujah. Amen. So if we, if we, we, we become like Cain. It's no use for us to come to church. So we come to church to find our weakness. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, let's continue. Are there so many of us who like to testify or like to think that we are insufficient? And, it, and there we, we make an excuse. I have no education. I have no ability. Am I able to do this? And, and if you keep you keep that up and do that way, keep going like that, then you can't amount to anything. But, but the very thing that we make excuse by our weakness, God uses that uh, very thing to tackle the job with. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, let's continue. Point number two. He waits for us to get that condition so that he can use us. Hallelujah. Amen. So we, 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 we take the excuses and say, Say, well, I, I can't do this. I'm insufficient. I can't do it. And God takes that very thing to do the job with. That's the reason why he chose us. Because we are in that condition. Now, that, now, that is a sound strange. Now, that sounds strange. But just for... Uh, just a few minutes. You get the reason for it. If God be willing. Hallelujah. Amen. So we find out, just as we're reading, the weaknesses and rejections. And we find out that, that those people who are the weakest and rejected by the outside world, 
Then you, you yield yourself to God and He does it. So then if it's us trying to do it, we'll fail. But if we just yield ourselves to God, then God can fail. Amen. Amen. Point number four, there is only thing that God cannot do, and that's faith. He can do anything else but faith. He cannot fail. So as long as we are trying ourselves, depending on our own abilities, and so forth, you will do nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But okay, point number five. But when we get to a place where we know we 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 know we are nothing, that then God can use us. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the important thing. One of the important things that we must master. Now remember, and especially you young preachers, and, and lay members, there is one thing we are, we've got to master. If we expect to fulfill God's desire in our life, we have to master the thought of human ability. If we ever get to a spot where we think we can do it with our own intelligence, and our own abilities, we have got to master that in such a way that we can get rid of the thing and, and, and lay it aside so that God can use us. Hallelujah. Amen. And we make a complete surrender. We cannot use we cannot use one ability. We 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 have got to make a complete surrender. And to come to God. You got to surrender to him both soul, body, and spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Point number six. Everything that you are has to be surrendered to God. Hallelujah. Amen. In order that he can work his will in, in you and me. Now that's hard, I know. We are because we are trying to want, we always wanted to put our parts. We want to put part in business. Amen. Something that we know. We, we know that we want to do it. We say, well, I just know I should, it should be done this way. But as long as you are doing it that way, it's going to be wrong. And God will never use that effort. Maybe with the help of the Lord, we are going to get into that in a few minutes. I will, I will show you how God cannot use your ability. Hallelujah. Amen. Number seven, we must we, we must try the, the ability of ourselves or any man. We mustn't try we mustn't trust the ability of ourselves or any man. Amen. 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 We must completely yield to God. No ability. I'm reading from the spoken word, right? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's come back. Even the points there are from the spoken word. Hallelujah. Amen. So we, we must completely yield to God. No ability. I don't care who is it. 
and, 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 and there are people who thought there was somebody. And he picked up those who were nobody and used them. Now, uh, uh, somebody can become one of his people. Now, uh, somebody can become one of his people. God can use them if they are ready to forget that they are somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are ready to forget that you are a somebody, and it become a nobody, God can use you and make you somebody out of you. Hallelujah. But you have got you you have you but you have got to forget that you you are so important. Hallelujah. Amen. There's many of us. Many of us do that. In our lives. As soon as some people, as soon as they become Christian, they become arrogant and indifferent. That's right. When they are just uh, when they are just taking advice versus the path. Hallelujah. Amen. They are going backwards instead of, of forwards. But instead of Amen. 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 When more you the, when more you get when more you get out of yourself. More room you've got for the Holy Spirit to come in. Hallelujah. Like Elisha told you, like Joseph, Elisha Abu Joseph, he said, Take this place full of ditches. Deeper you dig, the, the more room you, you, you are going to have for the water. And the more of our own self, of the, our own rubbish, of our own abilities, that we can throw out of us, the more room there will be to be filled with the Spirit of God as we can do that. Hallelujah. I have often said, the greatest enemy of God is William Brenham. He's the one that gets in the way. He's the one that gets lazy. This is the one that gets to a place sometimes where he thinks he can do things about something about it. Amen. Amen. When he does that, he shows God right out of the picture. Hallelujah. But when I can get rid of that guy, when I can get to a, a, a place that is out of the way, then God can come over and do things that William Branham knows nothing about. That's when God can use you. That's when God can use any of you. He can use anybody when he gets out of the way. As long as we get ourselves in the way, then we cannot. Hallelujah. Amen. So don't, don't try to be great. Be simple. Don't be uh, try to be a, a greatest preacher. Don't try to outshine anybody. Don't try to outshine another fellowship. Don't 
Hallelujah. So you can you see what there's, there's no way for us to with the there's, there's no way so that we can boost ourselves. Our leader come, is, was very humble. He comes from a humble family. Hallelujah. Amen. There was nothing. There was nothing big about Jesus. Jesus was not even beautiful. He wasn't beautiful. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So he, he was very humble. Amen. Amen. So he chose to make uh, he chose to make a, a Christ the example of us. He brought him in humility. He brought him in humility. Yeah. Amen. He never trained him in the schools of this world. But he trained him by his own power. So he could completely yield himself. So he could completely yield himself. Not to the thought, thought of a man or the strength of the world, but he yield himself to the power of God. God's Hebrews, that we are, that we are, God's soldiers, or heroes, we just read in the book of Hebrews. 11th chapter, that's where we have read. Our, out of our weakness was made strong. That they had to get weak before they could get strong. Out of their weaknesses, they were made strong. You that to put in the scripture down out there. Hebrews 11.34, all right. Here is something to console us. Here is something that encourages. Out of our weaknesses and humility, God chose, chose the people to build his kingdom out of it. God chose the people to build his kingdom out of it. If we ever get to heaven, if we ever get uh, if we ever stand in the presence of God with his church, we will stand in the bunch of people that's been weak and rejected and cast out by the walls. Hallelujah. And, uh, and, know, and know it is nothing. Isn't it, isn't it strange that God likened us to a ship? A ship is the most helpless thing there. There is nothing so insufficient or, or, or of defense that, 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 than the ship. A rabbit can run. A squirrel can get in a tree. A squirrel can bite. A lion can roar. A lion can roar. A lion can roar. A lion can kick. A bird can fly. But a sheep will stand helpless. A lion can roar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All these animals can defend themselves but, but a sheep. That's the way God wants us. Realize that we are totally insufficient. Then God can take that person and begin to mold himself into that person. Make his hands do what God would have 
make his hands do what God would have hands to do. Make his lips speak what God's lips would speak. Because they are not his. They are God's. He begins to build a character, begins to take this weakness and make it his own self. He begins to build a character. Hallelujah. Amen. Begin to take this weakness and make it his own self. He brings us here on earth. For then, for, he brings us here on earth. For then we are educated, we are smart. Did you ever notice the lines? The lineage. When we take, for instance, like Abel, from Abel uh, comes Seth. Seth lineage comes right down. Down to Noah. And all of them were just humble farmers. But Cain's children became smart, shrewd, educated, great men, builders, professors. But God's sight was weak and humble. That's how God used them. That's God's opportunity. That's God's way of getting to us. Is when we are weak. We get something then. This encourages us, of course. Because God's whole kingdom is built out of this kind of people. But then, when you get to that kind of way, then you, way, then you, you, then when you get to that kind of way, you can, you are in his kingdom. The case is with, with us, Karina. That not, that, not that we are weak. The, the case is we are too strong. We are, we are just we are just so too strong. That's all. That, the thing of it is we are too strong headed. That's right. We are too strong in our head. We are too much. God wants us to get that out of us. Yield ourselves. We got to think. Well, now here, yeah, I got sense enough to know. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, uh, number, number 13. Because faith will, will always agree with the word. And then if your faith is contrary to the word, or think it is, then you haven't got enough faith. You have got a make belief. You have got a boost in your senses of some scholarship that you have learned a lot about or, or something. But you get to get away and, and, and depend completely upon faith. And faith can completely build upon God's word. Hallelujah. Amen. So, if you've got a, a seed that is troubling you, if you've got a stubborn, if you're stubborn, if you've got a stubborn heart, you a stubborn heart. Hallelujah. Amen. You are impatient. You are. You, you feed upon the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Feed upon the word. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have that a temper, gossip, laziness, TV, internet, TV, internet, whatever it can be. If they are, they are troubling you, feed up on the word. And they will fly away. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. So, so when, when, you, when, you, when you, you feel upon, upon the word, all these things, they will, they will get away from you. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't need to do, I don't know. You just feed upon the word. If you have everything, that, anything that is troubling, feed upon the word. Hallelujah. Amen. That just have time. If you have, have time with the word of God. If uh, the message is preached like this, you check your notes. You just you take the spoken word. You feed upon that spoken word. Sometimes you may not remember what you have studied. But it is encrypted in your soul. Hallelujah. You don't have to remember everything that you have studied. But it's in your soul. Hallelujah. It's in your subconscious. Subconscious. Because what I'm trying to say, don't worry. Uh, because you will remember it when you need it. You can say, well, brother, I read so many spoken words, I don't even remember what I have studied, what I have read. It's better if I read one for the whole year. Hallelujah. Amen. No, feed upon the word. When I challenge. Read your Bible, read your spoken word. You will see all these kind of things that will automatically leave you. Amen. Amen. That we have read, we have read somewhere where uh, the prophet says, dig, dig, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have read where the prophet says, uh, dig up the dishes where you can, you can have more water. Amen. Amen. So, so just keep on feeding yourself with the word of God. The word, the word of God will fill that space of Twitter. The word of God will fill that space of Facebook. The word of God will fill that space of uh, gossiping. Hallelujah. Of, of impatience. You will be surprised when you start becoming uh, patient. Hallelujah. We don't, you don't need magic. Feed yourself with the word of God. Listen to the tapes. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember, when, the more you feed yourself with the word, the more appetite for the things of, of the world dies. Hallelujah. You don't, you don't say, you know what, my brother, these things are boring, you know. I can't be reading this thing every day, day, day. You find that you get so bored that now you, you have to watch Mubango, you know. When you, you keep on feeding yourself with the word of the word of the word, you start getting addicted now. When you start, when you start praying more often, you start getting used to it. You start having more desire to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you feel like an edge to pray now. When a day, when a day goes by without you reading a spoken word or a praying, Day goes by. I wanted to say, Angel Chaji, Lisepela, Lisepela, Mole Chaji, Nichaji, Jile. Hey, as the days goes by, yeah, yeah, Angel Chaji, yeah. Hey, when the days go, when the day goes by, Angel Chaji, yeah, you start to feel, no, there's something I didn't do. Eh, oh, tomorrow we go. I wanna listen to my cousin's grave. Hallelujah. Amen. And nobody, you know, or you didn't even care whether you prayed or not or you read the word or not. So everything, everything will be will just leave you. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't you don't need a very sharp sword to cut the sin 
out of you. No, you just you just need you just you just feel your you read the word of God. Feed yourself upon the word of God. Hallelujah. Things will just become very simple. You will get very much trouble saying, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to. No. They will automatically leave you. Hallelujah. So our trouble today is that people want entertainment. People want to sing, people want to dance. They don't want the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go on, let's let's continue. God can use your, God cannot use our our own abilities. I'm about to finish. Where is the one? I'll be finishing soon. <laughs> the singer didn't take your time. So the next is oh, 18 past 12. Amen. I thought 18 past 1. I saw a cup of I believe they have the road. You have come here with your own petrols. Yeah, so we must use the opportunity. <laughs> 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 18 past 12 is still early. But I'm finishing soon. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. God can you cannot use our natural abilities. Okay, let's take Moses. Mo Moses perhaps was that sort of a man. We know he was strong and well trained. So he took upon himself seeing the need of the day. And uh, oh, may God, may God let this sink. Seeing the need of the day, Moses with intellectual powers. Mm. His and his ability and that he had to do it. He was smart. He was a smart man. He was he was the, 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 the he was the, he was the coming pharaoh. He, was, he, he had psychology. He had power. He had physical strength. He had everything he said. I'm well equipped. I know all of it. And if there is a man in the land that's able to do it, I am. So I'm the man of the hour. I step out. And he, he went out to accomplish a work that was right in the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And he offered his natural abilities. And God refused it. He couldn't use one of this all of things Moses had. We have got to get ourselves and our abilities out of the way. And surrender the will and power of God. Say, well, brother, I can preach. I can, I, he can, he, he can use that as long as you can preach. That's all right, I can do this, I can do that. You can't do nothing. Well, then God can use it. But if you yield yourself to God and let him do it, you say, well, brother, brother, I know I'm a teacher. Well, as long as you are a teacher, that's why you won't, you won't get very far. But the Holy Spirit is our teacher. God sent the Holy Spirit to be our tutor of the church. Hallelujah. Amen. 
You remember all that happened with Moses. He killed an Egyptian. He tried to do it himself. But he didn't get it very far with it. God, God let him to the let him to the desert there. Stripped, stripped him of all his education. And his all his abilities and everything. Hallelujah. Before he can use him. Hallelujah. Uh, point number 15. Human, human weakness will never be used of God. God, by the human weakness, pours himself unto you, then he uses you. If he uses himself. Human weakness will never be used of God. God, by the human weakness, pours himself into you. Then he uses himself. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You just become an instrument. Certainly. You've got to get yourself out of the world. And Moses, oh, he learned, he learned human weakness is real good. He learned it so well. Until when God called him. Moses had seven weaknesses. Until he, until he could argue against God. Did you ever study the first part of Exodus? The seven weaknesses, I got them wrote out here. I want you to listen to them, the, the weaknesses of Moses. The first, first weakness, he had, he had, he had a, a lack of message. Second weakness of Moses, he had a lack of authority. The third weakness, he, he was a lack of eloquence. Fourth weakness was adoption. Fifth weakness was success. Six weakness was acceptance. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you compare yourself with his. See if you can come up with that. See if you can get as weak as he was. The Lord, I'm no good. I can't speak. I can't an Egyptian. I can't go back. Oh, everything. They won't receive me. I've got no message. I can't speak. I'm slow in speech. See how he was. He was nothing, brother. He had, he had been cured. Yeah, God could use him then after he was cured. Hallelujah. Amen. And stripped those uh, uh, abilities. After he has stripped him of all the abilities. Amen. That he can use us after we get cured. To find that my PhD and LLD and double LLD or whatever it might be. All my degrees is nothing. God can use them. Well, I'm an assembly of God. I'm oneness. I'm baptism. I'm assembly of God. God can use a bit of that. We can't get away from it. Well, the better of, better of you are. Better of you. You will, you will yield yourself to God. Like the prophet was. I'm a man of clean lips. 
So if we try to do it ourselves, our education, whatever that it can be, whatever, that we do, we will not amount to anything. Hallelujah. Amen. The only hero here is God. He doesn't show, he doesn't share his glory with anybody. If you want to do something at the end, we, that at the end we can see you and praise you. If you want to do something, where, 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 the, where the end glory to, is going to go to you, just know God is not part of it. Don't take him in. Don't take him. Don't take him. Don't take him. Oh, When you did it yourself, praise yourself. Say, I did it. Don't say it was God. Don't do something and say it was God. If it's you, it's you. And me, uh, if it's God, says, if it's God, it's God. If it's you, it's you. If you want to, you, you want to glory, just speak plainly. Say I did it. Don't take God. Because God doesn't share glory with a man. So if you want to, we want to achieve anything for God, let him, let's surrender ourselves. Hallelujah, God will use us. If you want to live a Christian life, yield yourself to God. Hallelujah. You have to say, I want to, you know what, I want to, uh, I'm going to stop smoking, I'm going to stop this, I'm going to do this. If you try to do it yourself, you do not amount to anything. In the long run, you'll go back to your old habits. But if you, go, if you surrender to God, God, if God will take it out with roots, God will take it out. Hallelujah. You say, I, how, how did you leave that smoking, my brother? Say, it was not me, it was God by His grace. It's just the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. If you can, you, you can be able to, to say it was the grace of God, if you are able to see that it was the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you can still see yourself doing things, Hallelujah. You must see the grace of God. You must see it is not by might, it is not by power. By, by, by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's surrender ourselves to God. Whatever that if you, you are a minister, yield yourself to God for a message. Say, so, you no, know, I, know, I know so many codes, I have read the spoken word, I know the Bible, I, I, I can do that. You will come here and talk. People will come here and go back the same. After you preach a, a so-called powerful message. No one will repent. Because it was not God, it was yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. You will be uh, singing. Your, 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 your singing will not even heal the sick. But if it's the, it's the Spirit of God through you, when you are called to sing, you go to God, you yield yourself, you surrender yourself. What God is not about, it's not about my gift. It's not about your gift of preaching, it's not about your gift of singing, it's not about your gift of keeping You surrender yourself, you say, God, I want you to use me. When you see here, you will chase all the demons. Because it, don't, it will not be you. But the, the Spirit of God through you. When you play there, people get healed. People get delivered. 
but because it's the spirit of God. God. It's not you. I swear. You, know, you say what? When, when, when I play there, you can see the way people are dancing. You saw my, you see my brother that I can play the keyboard with blind with my with blind eyes. I can play it on my back. Hallelujah. You know my voice doesn't need any training. I'm a natural. You will see, but you will not amount to anything. Hallelujah. When God, God says he does not want our ability, he knows that we can do it, but he doesn't want that. He wants to do it himself. You, he needs you to surrender that gift. Hallelujah. The same gift that he gave you, you must surrender it back to him. Then you know he can use it. Hallelujah. Amen. That's how it works. I believe. Amen. I, I believe I'm, I'm, I'm thankful. I didn't take time. Amen. 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 So we, we, we really thank the Lord for the message. And uh, may he continually bless you. Bless, bless your families. Your children. And your children's children. And your relatives. And your neighbors. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's surrender to God. Let's yield to God. Let's get out of our abilities. We know that you are a talker. You can, you can out talk. You can. But let God. When you, 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 when you go out. You say, I want to share the word of God with people. Hallelujah. Surrender to God. It's not about your powerful words or your powerful English or whatever you, it can be. Or you're a great person or a, it's not that. Hallelujah. A simple thing can turn an unbeliever or somebody who, can, who didn't even believe in God to repent. To repent. Last, uh, last example. There was this uh, man, I forgot the name of the man. I know you read this, the, the, the spoken word you remember. This man didn't believe, in, didn't believe in God. So there was this little girl. Little girl, very small, I think maybe five, five years, six years. Coming from Sunday school. This old man is asking this little girl, why are you wasting your time? Because there is no God. Then uh, this little girl. Ask this old man. So if you say there is no, how does this flower live? That old man who didn't believe that God exists repented. You see, it's not about your words or how intellectual can be or how smart you can be. The things of God are very simple. That's why God can take an intellectual person and give him a message. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. When I was born again, it was a land day. When I was born again, it was a land When I was born again, it was a
thankful. We are thankful for the word of God. And we are thankful for the men of God. We say may God bless them. Where they took from. They must go and dig deeper. That they can bring to the children of God. That we can go to heaven. It is the only way to prepare us to heaven. Say our abilities. It is the ability of God. That whatever good thing that you are doing, you must know that it is not you but God. You must do it with all that is where God working from. You will find a person singing. He closed his eyes, but seated down. That is not God's ability. But we cannot mention whose abilities is that. But we can only tell you that is not for God. We are thankful, children of God. The man of God is spoken. Yeah, do not take our time. Us who like knocking early, he did not take our time. Even us, let us not take our time. Let's sing only one song. Dance. After that, we sing another song. We close in prayer. Then we go to our homes. Sisters that can sing a chorus, nice chorus. They say the, the children of God when they they cross the job, the the yes. Yeah, when they Maria and then Sister Maria, and Sister Maria. Oh, Sister Maria. <laughs> so, now we hear the word of God. We want to hear Sister Maria. We don't want to hear the brothers. We want to hear the voice of the Sister Maria. Uh, it, it was going to be better if you were competing among yourself, sisters, to serve the Lord. You don't actually listen us. You will be doing that ability of God. Amen. Uh, is your tapos. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is today.
John. John.